think of a lizard who loses its tail but soon it's grow a new one to replace the one that is missing but when human loses a kidney an eye or a limb or any organ it lost forever but imagine that if the lost organ could be replaced by more powerful bionic organ today we can replicate or restore more organs and various body parts than ever before today we are going to know about some of the bionic organs we can replace now number 1 bionic eye when you are blind being able to see even the basics of light movement shape can be make a big difference the argus 2 retinal prosthesis currently in fda trials and another system being developed by howard researched by dr john pezari record basic visual information via camera process into electronic signal and send it wirelessly to implanted electrodes the argus 2 use electrode implants in the eye which could help people who have lost some of their retinal functions Dr Pezari's system still in the early stages of research would bypass the eye entirely sending visual data straight to the brain both system will work best with the people who could once see because their brain will already know how to process the information number 2 regrown bones since 1960 researchers have known about proteins that can promote bone tissue to grow its own patches for missing or damaged parts unfortunately that technology never worked perfectly often growing the wrong type of tissue or growing bone where bone shouldn't be in 2005 researchers at UCLA solved the problem using a specialized design protein capable only of triggering growth in specific types of cell called UCB1 the protein is now used to be grow new bone that can fuse and immobilize sections of vertebra relieving severe back pain in some patients number 3 portable pancreas an artificial pancreas capable of monitoring a person's blood sugar and adjusting the level of insulin to meet their body needs will likely be on the market within few short years director of strategic research project and juvelin diabetes research foundation aaron kawaski said the device would initially be a combination of two exciting technologies an insulin pump and continuous glucose monitor the contraption could help insulin dependent diabetic patient to lead more normal life and make it easier for them to avoid disfiguring and life threatening side effect to having too little or too much blood sugar Number 4 in human taste the tongue can be a powerful tool but also highly subjective one Dean Nickerk professor of computer and electronic engineer at the University of Texas at Austin when food companies want to create the same flavor every time they turn to electric tongue a device developed by Nickerk and his team to analyze liquid and pick out their expected chemical makeup Nickerk's tongue uses microscopic tiny sensors that change color when exposed to the specific target such as certain kind of sugar the result is a system that can replace the person who says this tastes good but can make sure the chemistry of good taste is reliably replicate Number 5 new limb amputees can use prosthetic arm the same way they use a real one by the power of thought developed by Dr Todd Cookin of the Rehabilitation Institute of Chicago the bionic arm is connected to the brain by healthy motor nerve that used to run into the patient's missing limb These nerves are rerouted to another area of the body such as the chest where the nerve implants they carry can be picked up by the electrodes in the bionic arm when the patient decide to move her hand the nerve that would be sent signal to the real hand send it to the prosthetic one instead 
Now Dr. Cookin's team working on the improving the arm using surviving sensory nerves to communicate the feeling of temperature, vibration and pressure from the bionic arm to the patient's brain. Number 6. Smart Knee The knee isn't a part of body you would expect to think for itself. But the RHEO, a prosthetic knee developed by MIT Artificial Intelligence Research, Hugh Hare and Addy Wilkenfeld, really does have a mind of its own. Earlier electronic knee system usually had to program by a technician. When the patient first put them on, the RHEO knee, on the other hand, creates realistic, comfortable motion on its own by learning the way user walk and by using sensor to figure out what kind of terrain they are working on. The system makes working with prosthetic leg easier and less exhausting. Number 7. Wearable Kidney For people with failing kidney, basic necessities of life like removing toxics from the blood and keeping fluid level balanced require hour of hooked up to the dialysis machine the size of a clothes dryer. But a new portable artificial kidney, small and light enough to fit on the belt system, could change that. Despite its small size, the automated wearable artificial kidney or AWAK designed by Martin Roberts and David B. N. Lee of UCLA actually work better than the tradition dialysis because it can be used 24 hours a day, 7 day a week just like a real kidney. Number 8. Artificial Cell Sometime when you need to deliver drug to just the right spot in the body, a pill or an injection won't cut the mustard. Daniel Hammer, professor of bioengineering at the University of Pennsylvania, has a better method. Artificial cells made from polymer which can mimic ease with which white blood cell travel through the body, called C. These fake cells could deliver drugs directly when they are needed, making it easier and safer to fight off certain diseases including cancer. Number 9. Old Man New Penis Erectile dysfunction can take the fun out of a man's life. But Anthony Attala and his team at Wake Forest University have come with a method that could put the spring back in many a guys. In 2006, Attala succeeded in growing a new corpora cavernosa, the spongy tissue that filled with blood during an erection for male rabbits who had their removed. The new tissues was growing from the rabbit's own cells and after a month, the bunnies were back to doing what they do best. Number 10. Prosthetics for your brain Replacing a part of your brain isn't as simple as replacing a limb, but in the future, it could be. Theodore Berger, a professor at University of Southern California, created a computer chip that could take the place of the hippocampus, a part of the brain which controls short-term memory and spatial understanding. Frequently damaged by things like Alzheimer's and stroke, the hippocampus implant could help maintain normal function in people who had otherwise to be severely disabled. Berger still testing this implant, but he would like to see more. He even wrote a book toward replacement part of the brain in 2005. So that's all. If you like this video, hit the like button. So subscribe to the dynamic definition and stay tuned for new videos.